this video, we will be covering the most unorthodox fighters in MMA. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and comment what video you want to see next. Let's get to it. Recent years have seen a massive evolution in the striking styles of mass most elite fighters. When a fighter is in their training camps preparing to get an edge on their opponent, it usually seems to work. Unless their opponent starts pulling some shit like this when the fight starts. With MMA becoming one of the most exposed sports out there, it all isn't surprising to see different fighting styles come into play rather than more traditional methods. For this video, we have compiled the list of instances of MMA fighters that have their own unique style and what makes them special. Number 12, Dominic Cruz. Cruz has a very unique and elusive striking. Moving. And moving very fast. Leg, leg, leg. Right leg. Half footed, Jay. And T so to TJ's. Again. I mean, just watching his footwork is enough to give me a seizure. He never stops moving and is very, very good at getting into a fighter's range, landing his shots, and getting out of range before his opponent can counter. Cruz isn't the best striker out there, but his style is his own. There's virtually no way to prepare for it, unless you're Cody Garbrandt. Dominic Cruz fights quite like any other fighter, he has an unbelievable amount of cardio conditioning and has a bizarre stance that allows him to strike from unusual angles and frustrate his opponents. He also throws an incredible volume of strikes, but not as many as the next fighter. Number 11, Genki Sudo. Touch gloves, uh, and the craziness begins. Interesting tidbit about Genki Sudo, he has a recent mixed martial arts win. Japanese star Genki Sudo has done the strangest taunts, entrances, and stances in MMA history. If a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video must be worth a lot more. In the octagon, he had such unpredictable striking that most of his opponents could not counter. I mean, bro, this guy is literally doing the robot, nope, not after the fight celebrating, literally doing this during the fight. His fight against Craig Oxley at Pancreas 6 showcases man's creativity in the ring. From spinning his opponent to stopping him in that heel hook is just one of these instances. Number 10, Tony Ferguson. There's no need to over explain just as to why El Kukui deserved a spot in this video. With his strange personality and his training methods, the man has created a strange combo in the cage over the years when compared to other fighters. It's so hard to describe Ferguson's fighting style since it's just so different from everything else in the UFC. Not only is he unpredictable, but he's also extremely competent with the weapons that he uses. Meaning he isn't doing this crazy stuff to surprise people. I mean the man literally rolled away from his opponent during the fight to evade more strikes. All of this really shows when his opponents have no idea what to do when the cage door shuts. Number 9, TJ Dillashaw. When it comes down to interesting footwork, you gotta give that rep to Dominic Cruz, but TJ Dillashaw's not that far off. Watching these two fight was like watching a dance off since both have a very evasive tactic. TJ has a diverse striking arsenal, something that a few of his previous opponents found out to their detriment. His tricky, unorthodox footwork is ironically one of the main reasons of helping him have the edge over his opponents and EPO. Watching him get really low before he strikes is also a strange thing to watch, but has really helped him harness up power which he showcased throughout his career. Number 8, Michael Page. England's Michael Venom Page is perhaps the very best in cage showman in the sport. Not want to give in. And Michael Page's corner, the London shoot fighter screaming at him, trying to take it seriously, and there's a spinning kick, oh. that is unbelievable! Coming from a point fighting background, Page realized that at a young age that it was important to entertain the crowd in order to have fun and get noticed. What he developed was a flashy, exhibitionist style of striking that has made him one of Bellator's most popular fighters. His pro MMA debut even went viral when he KO'd his opponent with a seemingly effortless tornado kick, a patented taekwondo technique. Part Muhammad Lee, part Anderson Silva, and part Steven Lopez, Michael Page has done whatever he wanted in the cage so far, including getting knocked out. Those quick, shocking victories earned him a contract with Bellator and a large following in Europe. Number 7, John Jones. John Jones does not have the striking pedigree that many of the fighters on this list have. What he does have is a reach and height advantage that basically allows him to do whatever the hell he wants and get away with it. Pretty much. Jones wowed fans even when he was fighting on preliminary cards with his fearless kicks and spinning elbows, front leg kicks from any range, brutal kicks while backpedaling, superman punches, jabs with his elbows. I mean you name it. Again, 
Jones does not have the pure technical prowess of any other fighter on this list, but he can still bring fans things they have never seen before and make it look easy. Number 6. Lyoto Machida Lyoto Machida had such a diverse martial arts background that nothing he did could be considered conventional. Having trained in practically every style you can think of, Machida took the MMA world by storm in his unconventional stance and lifting many from their seats with his ability to absolutely dissect opponents. While he had fallen on tougher times since starting his MMA career 16-0, he still had one of the greatest arsenals in MMA when it comes to his stand-up game. He could punch, he can kick, and dictate anywhere the fight takes place. All the way from his bouts to Ryan Bader or his insane front kick to the chin of Randy Couture. Number 5 Yuri Prohaska The 29-year-old Czech MMA star is widely regarded as one of the most innovative fighters in the sport today. Yuri Prohaska has received widespread praise for his highly unorthodox striking and his unique approach to the mental aspect of combat sports. With his strange footwork and head movement, the Czech fighter really has established himself as one of the more recent interesting fighters. With his 12-fight winning streak, the man has had KOs and TKOs in his last 10 fights. With his dismantling of Dominic Reyes back in May, it really shined the light on the prospect. Even with his hands being down most of the time, there has been no sight of any fighter that has been able to put a stop to the style. Number 4. Keith Jardine Keith Jardine's silly, non-technical striking made him beloved by some fans and loathed by others, which seemed like a complete lack of coordination with his hands, feet, and head all seemingly moving in different directions led to some inexplicable wins against top fighters like Forrest Griffin and Chuck Liddell. His fight with Luke Rockhold was the greatest example of this. Jardine did his Jardine thing, dropping his hands and throwing right haymaker after right haymaker. In retrospect, it is genuinely remarkable that Keith Jardine became such a strong fighter in the 200 105 pound division. Number 3 Steven Thompson. When Steven Wonderboy Thompson actually started at MMA, he had a 58 fight winning streak in kickboxing. The karate fighter from Carolina did his background proud in his UFC debut, sneakily knocking out Dan Stitchin with the front leg head kick that put him to sleep. Though he lost to a strong lay and pray effort by Matt Brown in his second UFC fight, it still proved a bright future ahead of him. Just the way this man strikes is beautiful to watch. Number 2 Anderson Silva No list discussing strikers is complete without mentioning Anderson Silva. Silva was so much better on his feet than his opponents that he, much like John Jones, can basically do whatever he wants with no fear or repercussions. Silva put on a capoeira clinic against Damian Maya that probably made Marcus Aurelio cry tears of joy. The man has downright embarrassed many of the top fighters in the world. Older footage of Anderson Silva can immediately tell you why he is regarded as the greatest of all time by the majority of fans. He was so creative and so confident that it made him one of the most feared fighters in the middleweight category. Number 1 Michel Pereira Okay, this man is an icon. There, he's on his back. I heard Dyson Kim has practiced jiu-jitsu for- Oh! Oh! This is the that, back play. That's uh... Dyson's just edging his way forward. Uh, Pereira did everything you can imagine during this bout in Road FC 48. Pereira's absurd acrobatics and the insane grid jumps didn't start now. The Brazilian welterweight has been displaying unusual moves since he first started his professional MMA career back in 2011. Thank God Uncle Dana signed this guy to the UFC. And that right there concludes this video. If you made it this far, let us know how we did in the comments below. Alright MMA fans, thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, make sure to hit the notification bell, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to comment below. What